Hello everyone, welcome back to um, part 2 of this replay right now. Here we have those Thors once again trying to come back in. Our uh, Photon Cannon is able to destroy one of the Thors and then two of the Thors. So now we have only three Thors to deal with at this point. But more Thors once again joining in from the back. So six Thors at our front door. Uh, really no strategy that we can really think of right now. I'm going to lift off my... Um, lift off my starports and try to start building some tech labs. Perhaps battle cruisers would be a better uh, building at this point as those stores continue to push in right now. Here, um, I just start to use orbital commands and I'm going to start calling mules over here so that I'm, I'm, I can just hoard up a lot of minerals right now. I'm sitting on 6,000 minerals, but really no, nothing that I can produce that can really counter any of these units. So here comes those stores. Stores dealing a lot of damage towards these units. Carriers trying to fight back, and right now we have a single mothership. So that mothership is that single building right there to try to save save this whole entire field right now. Um, the the what the Thor still fighting back. There's a couple of low hit point Thors, but not much that we can really do right now. We have an army of Vikings now coming in, and an army of Marines from Cold Steam. So Cold Steam just pretty much producing a very very um very very um what infantry based army at this point marines to try to support all those stores Thor is just running around right now shooting down all these vikings poor vikings don't stand a chance as they destroy the star porch right over here i have a single battle cruiser that i'm producing and now i think okay i'm just going to start building mass star ports over here while i still have my factory in order to get as much as i can i'm calling down mules over here in order to harvest as many minerals as i can um, so one mule on every single mineral patch just trying to mine, just trying to mine. If I can mine, um, if I can mine out this location, I should be able to uh, build up a large enough army right now. And there we had the the mothership trying to cast that uh, that vortex right over there, but still not really working. And not much that can really be done at this point. I'm still trying to figure out what the necessary strategy is going to be. He loses his mothership, so he's building another mothership over here while he still has that stargate. Um, or while he still has that fleet beacon. On the other hand, there's marines now coming in, and I don't even have the hellions to really counter this anymore. Um, I, I still I have what a single battle cruiser is overhead trying to fight back. Uh, trying to fight back. I'm gonna try to get some SCVs over to repair that, but that poor battle cruiser loses to a swarm of marines over in that position. I am upgrading the level. Um, I'm, I'm trying. Oh, I'm upgrading the level three uh, weapons upgrade right now on that on the ships right now in order to deal more damage. So my battle cruisers, when they come out, um, it's gonna hurt right now. And pretty much at this point, Enrix and I thinking, all right, okay, I th we're pretty much thinking that we lost the game right now. There's 11 Thors rocking, walking around in our base. Um, they definitely have map control. They, back, uh, they definitely have just more more things. But you know what? I, tr I try to calm my partner down. Like, okay, no worries yet. And I, I try to tell them, you know what? I have a plan. I really don't. But I'm like, yeah, I, I have a plan right now. So here I am with five starports building an, an army of battle cruisers, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use these battle cruisers, as battle cruisers are going to be taken down so easily by these stores that with that what um, 48 damage and 10 range right now, um, am I going to be calling any more mules down? No, not calling any more mules down. I should have called it out over here, but pretty much I've with these mules, I have mined out this expansion already, and I'm, all I'm pretty much is getting gas at this point. But I am sitting at 9,000 minerals, so I really don't need any more right now. I have a mother. We have a mothership coming in from Enrix. So Enrix with that mothership. I was going to try to win this game, and we're, we're going to just try to win with everything that we have right now. So 24 probes, my army is 20 SCVs, 2 mules, 1 void ray, 1 mothership. Look, let's look at the army count right now. My army is at 52, my partner's is at 33 against 112 and 50. But here comes those battle cruisers. So those battle cruisers now coming in. Thor is quickly trying to come in, trying to take down one of those battle cruisers. And I only have the level 2 weapon upgrade, so it's doing four, what, um, 72... Um, 72 damage, and here comes that mothership, and that mothership cloaks my battle cruisers. And with that cloak battle cruiser, I am able to just start fighting back. A nice vortex canceling out half of those, um, half of those stores, and continuing to just destroy those stores right now. That Thor trying to take down that mothership, but that mothership is at is at 398 hit points still at this point in the game right now. Here comes those stores. Those stores are now coming back, trying to shoot it down, able to shoot it down, but they're still 
four Thors left. Thor is taking a lot of that damage. I, I have a what? I have four battle cruisers left, trying to finish it off. And I was four battle cruisers with that upgrade, able to finish off that rest of the army. So destroying most of that army right there, and I'm producing even more battle cruisers. So trying to get more battle cruisers and and just um, telling my partner to get another mothership, get another mothership. Unfortunately, we do not have a fleet beacon at this point, and we know, definitely know that we need that mothership in order to even have a fighting chance right now. So Enric's telling us yet, telling me he has no fleet beacon whatsoever, trying to get all going all the way back to cybernetics core. So he's going to need a cybernetics core, then his Stargate, then his fleet beacon in, in, in order to even produce this mothership, which takes 120 time. So I think it's either one minute or two. My army of four battleships completely um, healed back up by all of my SCVs. And now um, there's a group of SCVs with that auto repair right there, and I'm going to use those SCVs, um, getting more battle cruisers currently, and um, getting four more, and then have four more in queue, down to 925 gas right now. And um, moving out a couple of zealots, I'm going to go ahead and speed up this replay once again up to three speed right now, heading back over into this position, hoping that perhaps I can do something with my game right now. I have the ATA laser battery upgrade completed, and I have do in fact have that upgrade. Here comes those. Stores. Thor is able to fight back. I your model cannon um, three times with every single um, or four times with every single one of my um, battle cruisers in order to try to take down this command center. But unfortunately, he is able to just start healing it back up with all of his SCVs right now. So Thor is once again getting in position to try to fight back right now. All I have are battle cruisers. Going to bring over some SCVs and once again start repairing these battle these battle cruisers to try to get them back up to fleet readiness right now. Um, more battle cruisers joining in on that fight. One, two, three, um, four battle cruisers, and I'm still getting more queued up, trying to get as much supply as I can, sitting on 92 over 99 food at this point in the game. Um, and my op opponents are sitting at 94 and 66, so everything's pretty even at this point, even though we're only sitting on two um, two bases right now. So two bases are th is that is it. Right now, still don't have a fleet beacon. I think he's now warping in that Stargate. Um, I, I think he's working on that Stargate. Yeah, Stargate right over here, and then going to be getting that fleet beacon in just a second. So I have eight or seven battle cruisers in position trying to fight it out right now. So here comes another army of Thors. Nine Thors trying to come in and try to fight this out. I'm going to be forced to pull back my units once again. Luckily, my um, my units have do in fact have uh, what three armor. So it's able to uh, absorb some of that damage from those javelin missiles, taking only 40 damage as opposed to um, uh, 52. Now here comes those Void Rays trying to finish off the rest of this fight right here. Battle cruisers wanting to come in, trying to deal damage, trying to uh, make sure that they cannot take out any more units. Uh, what Thor is continuing to shoot right there. And now the Thors, um, we have a Void Rays and a couple Stalkers um, sacrificing themselves in order for my battle cruisers to really be able to make it back into the base. I'm going to bring over more SCVs to once again start repairing. I'm very, very low on gas, and I have more battle cruisers sitting in my base. So taking a look at the unit overlay, um, I'm currently sitting on 12 battle cruisers. So in the in old Starcraft days, one full control unit. But here comes those stores once again, those stores trying to fight back, trying to take down those cannons. And on the other hand, we have a couple of Marines and some Zealots trying to come in. And here comes the Thors once again. So, or the Battle Cruisers once again. Battle Cruisers starting to just shoot down, able to take down one of those uh, one of those Battle Cruisers, taking down another. Those Marines not doing too much damage, as those Marines are only doing six damage per shot. One Battle Cruiser taken down, but I still have 11 Battle Cruisers as I continue this fight. Siege tanks on the low ground, but quickly going to get taken down. More uh, Battle Cruisers coming in. And, and more Thors coming in to try to counter that, trying to move that low hit point battle cruiser back out there. I have one low hit point battle cruiser, and it gets taken out once again. So I'm going to continue to try to push, take down that siege tank, and now take down this um, this one orbital command station right here. Orbital command station getting uh, destroyed, and now taking down the rest of uh, this another refinery right now. Sitting at 13 battle cruisers, and once again, um, my I say your my base. My base getting attacked by a single Reaper. There were some units in here earlier. That's why the battle cruisers are sitting back here. And now taking down another a, a single Reaper against. And here's this fleet of battle cruisers just up in the air. And um, stay tuned for part three and the conclusion of this replay between myself, um, Enrix, um, Puju Buju, and also Cold Steam here on um, Twilight Fortress.